Boltzmann developed a really famous equation, which is, is this. Oh, screwed that up. Let me start again. So what I'm writing is S is equal to K log. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get it right. S is equal to K log, so that LN means natural log of omega. Um, very, very big important symbol in physics. Um, it's S. Entropy is complicated, is the first thing to say about it. Um, it's, there are lots of different ways of thinking about it. There are mathematical ways of thinking about it. There are physical ways of thinking about it. And we could think of, for example, with the students here who are milled about, they're milling about, they're filling out this space quite well. We could think about bringing those into what we term a low entropy state, where we pack them all nicely together, nicely ordered in the center of this, this, this lovely green. And then as they sort of uh, spread out, move away from that nice order state, we see we're moving to a higher entropy state. And that's really what entropy is about. It's about this um, dispersal of energy, about this moving from um, a state where everything's nicely packed and ni nicely tightly ordered into one where everything spreads out. And you can apply that to gas molecules just as easy as you can apply it to students. The easiest way to think about it is it's to do with how disordered things are. Um, and so the greater the degree of disorder in something, the higher its entropy. Um, so if you have a vase, that's kind of a low entropy object. If you drop it and smash it into pieces, it becomes a higher entropy object. And the basic, one of the basic laws of thermodynamics says that in, in any natural process, in other words, unless you try really hard and put lots of work in, uh, entropy will always increase. So if you drop a vase, it will smash, but vases never spontaneously unsmash themselves. You've got to define the difference between something that's impossible and something that's very, very improbable. So it's not impossible, for example, for all the atoms and molecules in the air around us to suddenly collect themselves together and head off there and we, we asphyxiate. That's not impossible. It's just incredibly, incredibly improbable. Similarly, it's not impossible for um, the if you put some cream in your coffee or some milk in your tea, you know that, that those mo milk molecules will just spread out and you, they'll mix um, naturally with the, with the tea, with the water in the, in the cup. It's not impossible, it's just wildly, wildly improbable, that those molecules could come together um, and, and reform a droplet in the, in the, in the centre of the cup. So entropy is a measure of that tendency to move away from something which is all clumped together and relatively ordered out to spread out, to the molecules spread out, the energy spreads out in the system. My suspicion that S probably comes from the German in this case because it came from, but I don't quite know what it, where, why it's called S. Um, the, it was, the concept was developed by a guy called Ludwig Boltzmann, um, a very famous uh, physicist who I guess started off his days looking like Johnny Depp and ended up looking like um, Oliver Reed, I guess. So the, the, the wonderful thing about this particular equation, or the interesting thing about this particular equation, is that it's actually engraved on Boltzmann's tombstone. Although it's not as um, well recognized as, for example, E is equal to MC squared, it's j arguably just as important and I'm not going to get into the details of exactly what those symbols mean, but the important thing is S gives us a measure of the number of ways you can arrange the atoms, the molecules, or even the particles in, in a system. And when Boltzmann developed this, it's, I think it's fair to say that some um, elements of the scientific community really sort of poured scorn on these, these ideas um, and really thought that they were completely off the wall and really were nonsense. And this drove... Um, Boltzmann really to commit suicide, which is incredibly depressing because he was vindicated not so many years, or was vindicated almost um, directly after his death, and these, the, the equation and the underlying theory is an important part of, of absolutely every area of physics, every area of the, of the physical, where not just physics, actually chemists will hold Boltzmann in awe as well.